This is a shame on you, Jagan Reddy, to spend crores of rupees, public money, on your own luxuries. If it is the people's money, then the people should know why it was used. And I think if an inquiry is conducted into this by a sitting judge, the truth will come out. People are saying that that's a 500 crore palace. No, it is 700 crore palace. About that Rishikonda constructions, we constructed in true spirit of better buildings to rule from Vaijag. Yesterday, the entire world was stunned looking at the visuals of the Rishikonda Palace, which was built by the former Chief Minister Jagan Reddy. The kind of luxuries that were provided for the former CM in that Rishikonda Palace were mind-boggling. You've seen uh, gold-plated taps, huge bathtubs, Toilets which were in the size of a two-bedroom uh, apartment, costly floorings, furniture, lavish uh, presidential suites. So, all facilities which were, you know, fit for an emperor or a king were, you know, made ready for Jagan Reddy, for his own comforts. This is a shame on you, Jagan Reddy, to spend crores of rupees, public money, on your own luxuries. You've always been speaking about poor people, a battle between poor and the rich. You've been projecting yourself to be, you know, a person who is always with the poor. But what is what what, what are these visuals in Rishikonda, Mr. Jagan Reddy? How can you justify this lavish spending on your toilets, on your bathtubs, on your massage benches? We have seen this kind of visuals in Baghdad after Saddam Hussein was dethroned, after Saddam Hussein was, uh, you know, pulled down from his, uh, pulled out of his chair, and after people went into Saddam's palace, these kind of visuals were seen then. These kind of visuals we, we have seen uh, when, you know, Gaddafi in Libya was thrown out by the people in Libya. We have seen these kind of visuals in Gaddafi's palace. So after Gaddafi and Saddam, I think, uh, in the current generation, you are the third dictator to build these kind of palaces. You have one already in Bangalore, one in Hyderabad, one in Tadepalli, then this Rishikonda. So, this kind of ultra-lavish spending of uh, public money, yesterday people have realized, and you will face the legal consequences. A thorough inquiry will be on ordered into this, and Jagan Reddy, you have to face legal consequences. On one hand, you talk about houses for the poor, houses in one cent and one and a half cent, and your toilet is bigger than a poor man's house, Jagan Reddy. Your toilet is much bigger than a poor man's house. That is the kind of respect you have on the poor people of Andhra Pradesh. That is what every poor, poor family in Andhra Pradesh had realized after looking at these visuals. People are saying that that's a 500 crore palace. No, it is 700 crore palace because they have taken out a resort. Earlier there was a resort there. It is worth 200 crores. It was taken out, it was demolished and they started uh, uh, constructing that uh, uh, palace in, uh, at Rushkonda. I say it's an environmental destruction. See, and spending huge amount on uh, government buildings, I don't think it will serve any purpose. Now, you see, once the government has changed, the maintenance of that uh, structure is very costly. It is not, I don't think the government can maintain that structure because it's such a costly. So, uh, that uh, what Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy, the former CM has done, is a blunter. Now, we will uh, take the um, uh, opinion of the public, Vishapatnam public, and whatever is best we will try to do with that building. So, uh, uh, in my personal opinion, uh, keeping it as a government guest house it will not serve any purpose. Because they are saying, YCP people are saying that uh, the guest house would be better, uh, it is maintained in such a way so that the PM or uh, President or Governor, they will be coming visiting. But I don't think, because the 
already Navy INS Daga has a guest house where the Prime Minister, uh, Prime, uh, President and all, they'll be coming there. So they will be taking care. But this one uh, is better if we give, can give it for uh, some other purpose, where the government gets, gen, uh, uh, gets income. It is my personal opinion. Anyway, we will take opinion of the general public, Vishapatnam public, and we will take a decision on that. About Rishikunda Palace, it has come to light that it is the people's money that, has was, that was spent on Rishikunda Palace, and uh, this is not excusable. If it is the people's money, then the people should know why it was used. And I think if an inquiry is conducted into this by a sitting judge, the truth will come out. And if action needs to be taken, it needs to be taken, because the YCB government had taken a debt to the tune of 8 lakh crores of rupees. And spending money like this irresponsibly is not excusable by the people. About that Rishikonda constructions, we constructed in true spirit of better buildings to rule from Vaijag and that buildings should be used for any government purpose, but that buildings are belonging to government of AP, not the buildings are not for Jagan Mohan Reddy or YSRCP. That buildings what actually constructed and beautifully with very good architecture in true and good spirit for the government of AP. So, here onwards they can be used for anything. So, it is their choice for the better purpose of whenever President of India comes or Prime Minister will come. Such good buildings are not available in Vijay. That is true spirit of and the benefit of Andhra Pradesh only we did. And you, you can, you are playing politics now. This is high time to deliver to people. Already you won with uh, extreme bumper majority. Now it is high time to deliver people of Andhra Pradesh what you committed in your manifesto. But in spite of that, you, are, you people are playing politics. You want to malign Jagan Mohan Reddy, what will you will get? You are diverting the people's attention. <laughs>